In this kingdom, culture, history, beauty, and grace are treasures to behold. Sixteen remarkable princesses have journeyed from different corners of the world. From the north to the south, and from the east to the west. From 16, they now stand at the junction of six, each one a symbol of a people's pride. These princesses carved their own paths filled with strength, determination, and vision, all for the chance to wear a crown. Tonight, their stories converge like rivers flowing into a mighty ocean of heritage. Their audience is poised and thirst for more. This is no ordinary contest, but a celebration of the daughters of a great land. They have chosen the path of tradition to define their destiny, and only one will reign supreme. Every year, the golden princess of Ashanti, from the land of the golden stool, every year shines with the radiance of her ancestors. Her journey is one of royalty, strength, and wisdom. Like the Ashanti queens of old, she carries herself with regal poise. Her beauty, matched only by her inner fortitude, deeply connected to the rich traditions of the Ashanti region, where gold and valor rule. The jewel of Bunu. From the Bunu region comes Ebra, a princess whose elegance mirrors the beauty of her homeland. Her steps are as graceful as the gentle winds that sweep across the fertile plains. 
Ra's journey has been one of discovery, drawing on the wisdom of her people to guide her through challenges. Her soft yet commanding presence speaks of a woman rooted in tradition, but with a gaze firmly set on the future. McCaffrey, the pearl of the Volta. McCaffrey, pride of the Volta region. Her beauty is in her smile and her unwavering spirit. Coming from the banks of the Volta River, McCaffrey embodies fluidity and adaptability. Her journey marked by determination and the will to overcome. She dances through life like the waves of her homeland, bringing her the power and serenity of the, of the D values. She wears the confidence on behalf of her region, worthy of retaining the crown for her people. the savannah. Titiaka, a daughter of the sword holder, a warrior princess of the Sanskrit plains of the savannah. She is a warrior in spirit, fighting her way through every obstacle with courage and grace. Her journey has been one of strength, resilience, and tenacity, much like the arid lands she calls home. The savannah beauty blossoms across her region. She is keeping hopes alive for her region, poised to take home the crown for her name, to be written in the sons of her land. The flower of the Eastern Highlands, 
from the lost hills of the eastern region comes Bipra as bright as the flowers that bloom in the rich soils of her homeland. Her journey has been one of, of blossoming into her own, nurturing her gifts and talents as one would delicate a flower. The press beauty is a reflection of the natural beauty of the Eastern Highlands. Her grace, coupled with her gentle strength, makes her a contender worthy of the crown. Her determination is one to be admired by her people. the radiant star of Greater Accra. In Greater Accra, Naamele stands bright like a golden radiance among her peers. Her journey is one of confidence and growth. Naamele embodies the spirit of the city fast-paced, bold, and full of life. The beauty moves with purpose, and her story is one of a princess who knows her worth. With every step she takes, Naamele draws closer to the crown, guided by the strength and pride of her people. Her calmness is the deception of what she's gone through to sit at this table for the crown. As the six princesses stand at the final crossroads, they prepare for the ultimate challenge. But no matter who wears the crown, the bond they forged will forever remain. Unity, redefining culture and beauty. 
and promoting national unity, redefining culture and beauty, and promoting national unity, redefining culture and beauty, and promoting national unity. 